you. Welcome to the cPanel security video series here. I want to show you how to, uh, first video here, how to set up hot linking. And what I mean by hot linking is, uh, say you've got uh, your zip files. Uh, I mean, this works for images too, but I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on, on people with downloads, uh, like zip files or maybe movies, you know, uh, MP4s, whatever the case may be, MP3s. You can lock it down so only can be downloaded from the page that you set up. In other, in other words, it will prevent people from putting a link on their site and having people download it from their site. This is a really cool feature that uh, not a lot of people know about. It's right there and it's easy to set up. So let's go ahead and, and jump right into setting up hot linking. Now, when you log into your cPanel, there's so many different configurations depending on your host and whatever the case may be. We're on our own dedicated server here, so it's going to be a little bit different than people say like HostGator or whatever. Uh, but it, it, it's still, the names and everything are still the same. So what you're looking for, let's see, get right here, security, okay? And this will be labeled the same, okay? So what we're going to do is we want to go to hot link protection. We'll click on it, okay? And what we're doing you can see right now that it is currently disabled, and that's the way it's going to be. So what you need to do is go ahead and enable it. Go back. And we've got a little bit of, this is actually uh, a, a cache WordPress plugin that I put in. What we're going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out because yours will not have that information in it, or it should not, unless you've already enabled it or something. Okay, so what we're doing is URLs to allow access. Okay, say, say for instance that you've got, uh, you know, you've got one main place where you uh, sell your, your digital downloads. And this, again, uh, sorry to repeat myself, but this can be any type of digital download, movie, MP3, MP4, AVI, zip file, PDF, whatever you want, okay? So... If you have one main domain name that you're using, and many people do, but they'll go ahead and sell from different places or allow different domains to sell it. So what you'll do is you'll put all of these domain names in here, and you'll notice that the first one is without the www, and the second one is. So you, you've got to do this both ways if you want it to work correctly. Okay, now, I mean, you know, what happens is if, if the one with www is not in there and someone types in www.watchfreemoviesathome.com and they're not going to get their download. So it's always best to do both of it. Okay, so what you do is you want to add another one. You can uh, actually add any as many as you would like. You could uh, I'm just going to type in couple here. Oh, oh, I can't type today. Perhaps I can't type at all. <laughs> it could be the problem. <laughs> all right. uh, come on. Okay, so I've got my other two hosts in there, and this can be unlimited, however many you want. I generally, what I do is, is all of my main domain names that I use, I have it uh, in a, you know, file in a folder. Uh, like on a notepad, and I just copy and paste them in when I want to set up a new domain name and just add mine to it that way. And plus, I'll, I'll have a list. Okay, now block direct access for these extensions. What this is is extensions, just like it says. All right, so if I want to keep people from downloading a zip, okay, and PDF, and let's just go with. Uh, just for grins, okay, and that can be unlimited. However many, whatever extensions that you have and you want to protect, you just add them in there, and you can come back and update it at any time. And what this is, allow direct request by entering the URL into your browser. And what happens is, if, is if you enable this, people can just actually put the link in their browser and hit enter and download your file. So you don't want to allow that. That's what we're, that's what we're doing is locking it down. But here is the coolest feature, okay? Now that when someone, say for another site, 
they're allowing downloads, your downloads. So what happens is now someone enters that URL in or clicks on it on those other people's site, you can send them to whatever URL that you like. That's the, that's the cool thing, okay? So what happens is, and I'll, I'll give you a little example here to make it clearer. What happens is, is uh, I'll go ahead, so we'll do that. Uh, come on, top. What happens is, is when they enter in, say, for instance, watchfreemoviesathome.com slash download.zip. Okay, if they enter that directly into their URL or click on it from another site besides these two, then they're going to end up here. And I'll show you that here. I'll give you an example. Let's go ahead and do a submit. And done. Go back. Make sure it is enabled. And you've got your information there. Okay, now let's give you a real life example here. Just a second. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is, is what happens if I enter in. I don't have it so you can see my address bar, but what I'm going to type in here is the domain name and a zip file that I have put on to the uh, server. So if I'm entering it directly in to my browser or it's on someone else's page, here's what happens now. I'm going to type in here the actual zip file download and I'm going to hit enter and boom, I end up at Google. Remember, I put Google down in the referral URL where to send people right here. Okay, so what happens is there is now only can people download a zip file if they're on a page within your domain, anywhere within it, a subdomain, you know, a directory, I should say. So what that does is it locks it down. You know, you've got, especially if you've got a membership script and uh, you've got an expiring page. Well, once that page is expired, no one can get to that, that zip file again. So that pretty much locks the site down so people cannot steal your zip files. That's what I use on quite a few of my sites, and it sure has cut down a, a lot of thieves from visiting me and my bandwidth. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll show you a couple more tricks in the next video.